So um, just a real quick video. Um, Oscar is the shining spear of God. That's what the word Oscar means. The shining spear of God awards. For those of y'all that have seen the other stuff that I showed you at the Oscars, uh, Lady Gaga uh, was wearing a dress that had a serpent on it and literally a spear going through where her vagina is. You know what? Let me just go ahead and show it to you. Just watch. Okay, so here's Lady Gaga at a previous Oscar Awards, and I'm just going to show you the, the Oscar right there. You'll see it. It's a spear tip. Uh, see, there's a spear tip. Just go look on Google Images. Oscar, there it is. It's a spear tip. See it? There's a spear tip. The word Oscar. Look up the meaning of the word Oscar. So let's just do this. Let me let me share the gift of knowledge with you. The Oscar meaning is a Norse baby name meaning divine spear, divine spear, shining spear of God, divine spear, God's spear. That's what Oscar means because, guys, the movies are meant to influence your mind and they're actors. Don't you get it? They're actors. Do you know another name for an actor? Hypocrite. Actor. They're in human flesh, but, guys, they serve the one from the pit. And the one from the pit's coming out now. His name is Barack Hussein Obama, and he will take on the full power of uh the incarnation of the devil in the flesh. Just like Jesus Christ was the Lord God in the flesh, Barack Hussein Obama is the devil, the serpent in the flesh. That's who he is. Now, let's look at, so Oscar means divine spear, shining spear of God, divine spear, God's spear. So at the Oscar Awards, here's Lady Gaga, and they're on a red carpet. Just think about it. Just do the math. I mean, they are mocking everybody. So there's Lady Gaga. I'm going to show you her dress without me doing any drawing on it. All you have to do is block in the shadows. There's the eye of the serpent. There's the other eye of the serpent coming down to the nose of the serpent. There's the tongue coming out of the mouth of the serpent. And this right here, this triangle right here in the middle, happens to be right where her vagina is. And then these lines right here make a spear going up through her vagina, representing the Garden of Eden. That's what the serpent used. His penis was like a spear tip impregnating Eve and bringing the tip of the spear to God's children. Now, I just drew in the images right here. I'll show you very simply. There it is. I just outlined the lines on Lady Gaga's dress. And by the way, it's the same damn thing as Donald Trump's coat of arms. So there's the serpent. There's the eye. There's the eye. There's the representation of her vagina with the spear tip going up through it into the womb to create the serpent race. And there's the tongue of the serpent. This is not arguable. It's there. It's, I mean, it's not even arguable. There it is. That's a damn serpent. Okay. On her dress. Let's look at a rudimentary image of it. Make it very simple for you. A very rudimentary image. Okay, so there is your snake. That is a clear plastic layover that was put on top of her dress. Serpent. Serpent. Got it? Okay, now let's go to Ashley Judd. They're wearing purple. Why are they wearing purple? The same reason all the Democrats were wearing purple ribbons at Donald Trump's State of the Union address, and they had the number 42 associated with it uh, for the 42,000 opiate deaths. Wrong. There's 52,000 opiate deaths in the year they said they were wearing their little purple ribbons for. They had on their purple ribbons to, to glorify the coming of their king, which is Satan in the flesh, Lucifer in the flesh, the serpent, Barack Obama. He's getting ready to take his seat of power. And so they were wearing their little purple ribbons at the State of the Union address. And they said it was to uh, honor the 42,000 deaths from opioids. Wrong. 42 is the number of the coming of the Antichrist. Why are they wearing purple? Because purple represents the king. It's uh, blue and red mixed together like your blood. Blue and red mixed together because the serpent runs that system. That's why they wear purple. That's why Prince 
was at the Super Bowl in the Twin Cities singing, you know, uh, Justin Timberlake singing Purple Rain. And up on the Jumbotron, it said 1042, right when he said, I would die for you. 10, completion, 42, coming of the Antichrist. Prince in a purple backdrop. Give me a break. Okay, so let's knock this out of the park. Okay, all y'all that worship Lucifer, here you go. You got your purple dress on? You got your, your dress with the two different seeds tied together? Yep, you do. There's the seed. There's one plant tied together with the other plant, which is what they represent. Black represents the death. And then these two are wearing purple, represent the coming of their king. Let's hear what they have to say. I slowed the volume down. Slowly, a new path has emerged. The changes we are witnessing are being driven by the powerful sound of new voices, of different voices, of our voices joining together in a mighty chorus that is finally saying time's up time's up for what time's up for all you other people that thought you were going to occupy this planet with these beasts because it's the beast system and they're they're saying time's up the new voice is taking over taking over the consciousness of humanity so this is a no-brainer, guys. Go back and watch my other videos. This is just a no-brainer. And that's why the Lord had me expose the serpent from the Garden of Eden just now. Hang on one sec. Let's have a look at that serpent. Just a minute. Okay, so let's have a look at that serpent from the Garden of Eden right now. There he is. There's Barack Obama. Why do you have a big fang right here on your forehead, Barack? Why is that fang turned into a sperm? Let me show you guys something so you can see it. Right where the tip of the fang is, see the turn right here to turn it into the sperm? See right there, I didn't color it in because I didn't want to make the fang disappear. But all you have to do is make this turn right there. See the difference in light and then follow it down. There's the tail of the sperm. Wow, so what's up, Barack? And so there you go. Here's the other fang right here going to the edge of the other eyebrow. See it? All I did was box in the shadow. Now let's let's tighten this up a little bit. Okay, so now we have, let's see, the eye of the serpent right here, the eye of the serpent right here. Here's the top of the head of the serpent right here. And then there's the mouth, there's the fang of the serpent. And there's the other fang of the serpent, which is a sperm. How many times have I told you guys the deal in the garden? Hetero, paternal, super fecundation twins. If anyone says I haven't used the Bible to prove it, you are a liar and a deceiver. I use the word of God to prove it. I don't need the Targum to prove it. The Targum just completely supports it. And by the way, the Targum was out before the Bible. Just FYI. So anyway, I use the breakdown of the words in the Bible to prove that Cain and Abel were twins. She continued the process of birthing augmented. That's what it says. She added to bear and she brought forth Abel. It means to augment, which means to continue a process. All right. So here we go. Let's just do it. Let's do a close up. There's the eye of the serpent. There's the eye of the serpent. Coming down to the nose, and there is the fangs of the serpent. And the fang of the serpent is a sperm. There you go. By the way, there's another sperm right here on the side of his head. There's two sperms. One was Adam's. One was the serpent's. And the serpent bite is what started this whole thing. Okay, again, here's the eye of the serpent. Here's the eye of the serpent. There's the fang. Here's the other fang. I'm just going to scroll. Now, I've taken this one where I haven't colored in all the leaves. There's the eye of the serpent. There's the eye of the serpent. Just follow the dark outline. Top of the head of the serpent right there. 
going out to the cheek of the serpent, going out to the cheek of the serpent. Coming down, the leaves are scales. He used the leaves as scales. He used the darkness to form the trench that comes down to a serpent's uh, pits in its nose. There's the fang of the serpent. There's the other fang of the serpent. There's your serpent from the garden. That's why they're saying time's up, guys. Here it comes. Barak Hussein, I am the serpent from the garden, Obama. There you go. There's a serpent with its mouth wide open and the fangs. That is not arguable with anyone that's got any discernment whatsoever. Again, here we go. I, I, put the rhinestone on it now. Top of the head, going over the eye, eyebrow, eyebrow. Cheek going off the page a little bit, coming down, going up under bottom jaw, bottom jaw. Fang, fang. There's your serpent from the Garden of Eden. There he is, right there. Barack Hussein Obama. There he is. There it is. And I'm going to continue to color these in. I took this one in an angle so you can see it. Look at the eye coming down, the trench in the face, to the pit. Trench in the face, to the pit. There's the fang right there, sperm. Busted. Totally busted. Eye. Eye. Trench to the face. Trench to the face. Scale. Scales. There it is. I mean, give me a break. That's a no-brainer. Doesn't require intellectual thought at all. It requires being able to see with your heart. If you can see with your heart, then you can see what it is. All right. So these girls, a new voice that says what? Say it again, Ashley. <laughs> Time's up. There you go. Time's up. Because their king is coming, guys. Their king is here. He's about ready to take his seat of power. Why do you think the Lord had me expose him right now? You know, when they, they took that veil off the picture, Kahinde Wiley, I don't want to run the video. Go watch it yourself. He said, I feel like Barack and I are twins. It's like, give me a break. And then they unveiled. Get it? It was the unveiling of you know, Lucifer in the flesh. I mean, this is no-brainer. All right. Done.